Brand new series, folks. Back in England. Let's go. What is happening, folks? And welcome to a brand new series with Plymouth Argyle on Football Manager 2022. I'm so excited to get this series on the way. Um, if, if you're excited, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well for daily FM content in your inbox from Let's Plays to reviews and also experiments. Down below, people channel, same criteria there, they was and Let's Play channel as well. So, guys, we're going to be in two series on the go. The new series will be, next series will be, will be revealed tomorrow. Uh, I left the day gap between the Barcelona series, and this one's starting because I want to give you a chance to watch the final Champions League final. Um, so this is the brand new series, the first of the, of the two new brand new series I'm going to be doing on the, on the channel. And it's just my attempt, again, to try and do a small team save and have some fun with them and try and, you know, achieve something I've never achieved before, which is manage a lower league team and make them an absolute god of a team. Um, and your thoughts are helpful in, comment, in the comment section. So, as you always know, in new series, I always do an introduction, look at the squad, look at the fans, look at some players, look at the, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it gives you guys a chance to give your thoughts below. It will be daily uploads. At the start, I may give a few more days till we start the news the series, the first episode. So you guys can give your thoughts in the comment section. Um, but once we get going into the series, it will be daily uploads. It, 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 every... A video will upload on this channel every single day, but with Let's Plays, I will. I don't want to rush them. I want to take my time, make better content, hopefully make a better squad as well. So, so let's have a look and see. Up there for a look. It's not going to be a long episode, guys. It's going to be basically just an introduction. So they've got two star reputation. They've got a director of football deal, Neil June Snip. Is he any good? Yeah. That's 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 fine. Look, actually, not great, but you can find players for me. That's fine. Uh, this is the manager, Keith Downing. That name sounds very familiar. Fantastic. He's got good tactical knowledge. That's exactly what I want in my assistant manager. So, League One last season, they finished 18th. They wanted us to avoid relegate. Of course, season, they, they want to. I'm guessing they want us to finish around that 15th place. Um, obviously, never been in the Premier League. Uh, of course, which is one reason why I did this save. One day, my friend of mine was showing a, wee, a graphic of clubs and had clubs on cities that never had a top a team in the top division in their, in their country, and um, Plymouth was on that list. So I thought, yeah, it'd be kind of fun to do that. So that's okay. So that's not the formation we're going to be playing. Uh, we're probably going to play a four-two-three-one or four-three-three. Um, James Wilson is that the is that the James Wilson? I'm thinking of. No, I, d I don't know why I thought it was him. Um, so we're good, we're good to change that formation. So what are the expectations this season? They want to play entertaining football as, a, as part of the club vision, play attacking football, develop players using the cl club's youth system. Well, that's probably, that's my wheelhouse, the top two. The youth system depends on if we can have a good youth system. Work within budget, makes sense. Reach the second round of the AFL Trophy. Top half of League One. This is what I think we need to do going forward. Is picking teams that, yes, of course, are lower league, but not teams that are expected to get promotion straight away. Teams you can build up slowly. And if we do somehow nail it, then it's fine. So talk about finish. Okay, that's not an unreasonable um, re request. Hopefully we can do that. Next, they want the playoffs, and then they want to win the championship, win promotion championship. So we've got three years to get promoted. Um, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to change these. Um, at some point, but got change that one there. We'll have to wait and see. So, uh, leash the FA Cup third round minimum and reach the FA Cup second round minimum and work to cause coming self sustainable. Fair enough. Um, I've already, I've already done the whole saving the game thing because you know that makes it. Let's play the contract again. I have to look, have to look at these. If you're a Plymouth fan and you're watching this, this is your chance to get your thoughts on what. I need what you think is best to do. Obviously, I'll make my own decisions as well, but obviously, if you've got a glaringly obvious idea, then feel free to let me know in the comment section. So, tactical direction. Look what, what kind of tactics do they want the video should play? Wing play. Okay. I don't like I don't like 442. I mean DM, I could use that. Um but I think we'll be a case looking at the um squad first and seeing what we've got. I want to play a 4 2 3 1 because I like a 4 2 3 1. It's my favorite formation. So let's see what we've got in terms of squad depth for 4 2 3 1. Okay, so David, so we've got Ryan Broom who can play there apparently. Okay, not looking great. I mean, Mayer is. I think 
Okay. Maybe we can't do a 4-2-3-1 then. Um, okay. Interesting. Well, again, it's not set in stone. It's not set in stone. It's just more just looking at it. So, Poacher, we've got a striker here called Luke Jeffcott, who looks all right. Um, he's not the most quickest player on the planet, but he's... He, okay, that's interesting. Um, Mike Cooper, best goalkeeper we've got. Yeah, will probably be my goalkeeper. I can't see... Anybody else taking him? Steven Sessignon. Is this the guy from Fulham? It is. He'll probably be the right back. The, he, he, he looks quite promising. Is there a clause for a future deal? I'm guessing there won't be. No, there isn't. Um, probably can't afford him. So, okay. Um, now, Ennis, after four to five months. That's a bit of a blow. Because he looks like a really good striker. Um, he looks really good uh, with that pace and finishing. He looks all right. Um, then, obviously, he looks him. Romney Chinhao. Good centre back option there. Not again, target top half this season, of course. And then looking at Ryan Hardy. Okay. Striker. Mom, bit mom, yeah, he'll probably start up front, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so again, guys, let me know in the comment section of players you think we should look at Alfie Lewis. Again, let me know in the comment section. What is the finances looking like? We've got six million pounds in the well, seven million really. Seven million pounds in the, the in the balance. What's the budget looking like for maximum 154? Okay, so we've got a bit of leeway there, not much. Um, we're probably looking for loans and maybe things like that, or maybe free transfers might be worth something we go for if we can find some of those. So we're in a good position financially. Debt, we've got zero amount of debt, which is great. Um, don't want to see any debt in a club, do you? Um, this low down, at least for me, because I need, need a bit of money. The, guy, the manager loves the, the owner loves the club, so there's no hint of it that could take over, could cause us problems, which is great. Um, development centre. We've got Adam Randell. Again, he's something I think we can put in the first team, potentially. It depends on kind of formation I want to play. Obviously, you guys give your thoughts. I may put in the first team anyway, uh, just for now. It makes sense to do that. Under 18 is what we got in terms of. Um, Potential here, not a lot. We've got Oscar Massey again, not really something I'm something I'm really going to use to be honest. And then you've got Will Jenkins Davis again, 16 years old, got a good potential. Okay, so we need to look at the facilities we've got. So we've got a adequate training facility and below average youth facilities. So they want me to focus on the teams using the first using the team's youth system. So I think the crisis, the first thing I'm going to ask them for, uh, or keep badgering them for, is to get that youth development higher so we can actually improve that. Um, so we need to do that. That's something we need to do. Um, obviously, pitch perfect, you know, pitch, pitch is perfect. As it should be 18,000 stadium, maybe get a new stadium built at some point or expansion of the stadium. Not so they're going to do that straight away. I think if we're going to ask for anything from the board in day one, it's going to be the new facilities that we're going to try and um, improve upon. So have we got any kind of affiliates right now? Um, let's have a look. For affiliate. Okay, let's have a look and see if they'll give me, give me a senior affiliate. Um, yeah, they always say no to that. Uh, but we'll keep asking for it um, because... Makes sense to do so. Um, so, yeah, it's not a terrible squad overall. A lot of good starred players here. Um, I feel like striker-wise, we're okay. Um, I still feel like maybe we could bring somebody in. Um, it depends on what's out there available. I need to nail that down a formation. I think a winger is needed. Um, looking at this, we've got Martin Broom. This, this, we need to be a midfielder in in my opinion, um, because I don't have enough wide players um, that I would like to have in this team. Um, yeah, I mean, you look at that, a lot of them are duplicates. So, striker-wise, we can maybe get away with it. If we can get someone free, even better. But I think we need to get a wing, some wingers in. Maybe, um, yeah, I think Danny Mayer is all right, but I think we can do better in the wide areas. I think try and get some free transfers in or something like that. But I think the first season is going to be just nailing down a tactic and a system and then building with that. Like I said, the top half is, I think, doable. I think it's doable. I mean, 24, so 12th is 12 or higher. So we've got to finish on this period here. I think it's doable. Uh, might not be, but we'll see. Again, guys, it's a me part having a, having, a, having a go at these kind of saves. Like I said, next episode will be a bit of a 
bit of a way away. You can give me your thoughts on in the comment section on what we should do, what signs we should bring in, all that kind of stuff, any hints and tips on tactics and what have you. And I will catch you all in the next episode. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>